Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue with the system interrupts process in Task Manager using high CPU or memory usage on your computer. So typically this is a process that reports to the CPU about different interrupting activities that happen on the hardware level on your computer. So if there's a lot of errors going on on your computer, on the hardware, it may be using a lot of memory on the service. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve some of these issues, hopefully. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I do want to point out that if you're having a lot of system interrupts, high CPU usage, it could be an early sign that you're having hardware-related problems, in which case you may need to replace your hard drive or upgrade various system components that are problematic. That's just something that I do want to put out there to begin with. So hardware does not last forever and stuff does fail. So that is just something to keep in mind. Um, have tempered expectations, you know, when following this tutorial, just given that information. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in device manager. Best match, or come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the sound, video, and game controller entry in here, and then double click on the audio device. Select the driver tab, and then select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers, locate and install a driver manually, and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select that one from the list as it appears. Assuming there are multiple ones, I'd recommend selecting the manufacturer specific one if there were multiple ones populating this list. Select next, select yes, close out of here. And then once you've done that, you want to do the same thing for the graphics drivers as well. So go underneath display adapters. And then again, the same process we did for the other one. So go ahead and browse your computer manufacturer specific one we can see listed in here select next and then once that is done close out of here open up the search menu type in cmd best match or come back with command prompt right click on that and select run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt select yes and now you want to go type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, once it has concluded, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do apologize to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.